All right, everybody, let's talk greater changes. It doesn't matter if it's this lab, this lab, this lab, or any of the other ones we do. All of them got to look the same way by the time we wrap this up. Now, we went through this pretty specifically on this lab. Um, but for example here, all of them got to have some temperature over the amount of time that it takes. So in this case, it was 15 minutes. And then on the top, you're going to tell me how, however much your sand heated up in those 15 minutes. To get a rate, to get an answer in degrees F, perhaps, maybe you use C, either way, per minute. All right, we wrote that right there. And here's the problem. They're all speed problems, essentially. How quickly is it changing? What about this lab? Same deal. There's some right here. And there's the rate of change problem again. So I'm going to need... Um, we did it from January to, uh, th this is a slightly edited version, there's a newer version, but it says over those six months, how much did the temperature change? And again, that's gonna equal some number, this one's in Fahrenheit, so it's gonna be some number of degrees Fahrenheit, divided by six months equals blah, 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 degrees F per month. What if it's this one? Same deal. I want it all written out, it's all gotta be there. And I'm gonna send these back and complete if they're not that way, but uh, it's a quick fix. Fix it up, hand it back. May need to zoom in on this one a little bit, but be something over, in this case, 30 minutes. And then again, some number of degrees Celsius or Fahrenheit there, however much the hot cup cooled down, and that will equal some answer in degrees F per minute. All right, every time and on the test and on all the other labs we do, you've got this, good luck.